I'll just see that as, you know, something that is a dream that I'll put on the shelf and then it will never come true. Well, I work with people to actually get them to the dream. Hey, Dr. Bill here. We have an exciting Meet the Mentor. This is our 99th Meet the Mentor. Next week will be our 100th anniversary, which will be awesome. Today, I'm going to introduce you to Denise Michelle. Now, she does one-on-one -on -one programs, group programs, and she's about to start working with corporations, and it's all about yoga. Um, I don't know if I told you, my brother is a big yogi. Oh, is that right? Yeah, That's Brian amazing. Dorfman. He's in all the yoga magazines oh, and everything. Oh, incredible. So um, she is a practicing yogini of 20 years. She also works in self-love, um, the Reiki healing, and semantic body works, which I'll have her explain all that. Yeah. Uh, life mastery and spiritual coaching. She's also a life coach. She does RTT, hypnotherapy, which you can mm -hmm. also explain. Yeah. And she basically dedicates her life to the deep connection with spirit and education and self-love empowerment. Um, she uses her gifts in guiding and healing and mentoring and speaking and basically teaching the world. And if you want more information, you can go to www bridge the love b r i d g e the love we will put it on the screen here <laughs> right charlie and uh, you can go to that and uh without further ado thank you denise oh, good to see you. and so we met at the think and grow rich yes. seminar series and uh, that's a great one too the next one is going to be in northern cal and then there's going to be a big one in phoenix in two weeks so i'll yeah. be at that are you gonna go i'll be in phoenix you'll yeah. be in phoenix sure. so how did you get started in the whole yoga thing so yoga started for me 20 years ago um it actually saved my life i was really yeah it's it's quite fascinating i was born with a mental illness called borderline personality disorder which really took a lot of my I guess life, you can say. I, I, I was in constant suffering, so on the outside, I, I looked completely normal and functional. I would go to school, I, was, I had a corporate job, but on the inside, I, was, I wanted out of my body. So how did yoga help you compensate? For well, it, yoga really started releasing some of my suffering, and as I got deeper into yoga, I started realizing, well, oh wow, just breathing, just being present, just, just understanding parts of my body, and then it wasn't until later several years later that I that I got the idea that, you know what, I, I wanna be a yoga instructor and I, and I wanna help people. I wanna kind of create something where yoga is therapy as opposed to just another vinyasa practice. Um, and I went on to become, I went on to treatment actually in uh, 2008 into dialectical behavior therapy which is where I started unwinding all of my all of my stuff and started learning a new way of being um, and learning coping skills and, and on how to how to really live life and then and then I, I went on to become a yoga teacher and opened up my own yoga studio and I had that for four and a half years and about five uh, almost well four and a half four years ago I closed it and I am now segue into working in transformation but yoga is still a huge part so of my life. So what does that even mean like working in transformation? Yeah. What are you doing? So so let's say you have a dream you know I have a dream to be this oh but I can't because right and there's all these excuses and it's our paradigm system it's our subconscious telling us it's what we study in the thinking we're rich our subconscious is telling us that we can't do something, and so we we believe it. I can't I can't have money. I can't have the job I want. I can't have the the relationship I want or the home I want. I'll just see that as you know something that is a dream that I'll put on the shelf, and then it will never come true. Well, I work with people to actually get them to the dream, and so I work with systems and programs to help them close the gap and get from here to here. Now there's a lot of stuff along the way, as you know, when you're building the dream because you're you're working through building your confidence. You know? If somebody else said that to them, they'd like, but they say it to themselves. They do, and I did that, you know, and I and I know what that feels like. And but you know, if you look at what we are what we are bred with, right? This is this comes from our programming as young kids. You know, in society, we're constantly look at the commercials, look at the billboards. We're constantly being told we're not good enough. 
oh, you're not good enough in, unless you look like this or unless you buy this product. Or so, so people really aren't aren't taught how to find their magic within. And you know, it's like, you know, a child comes home and you know, seeing a D or an F or you know, a not maybe not a great grade, you know, the parent would yell at the kid as opposed to saying, hey, how can I help you? You know, not not all parents, but but a lot of people that I've even talked to, even myself as a child, you know, it was it. I, I think the parents they just didn't know how to encourage their kids to do better because they they weren't raised that way. They right. were raised differently. So that generation that's come, you know, the baby boomer generation, they were raised completely differently. And so you know, I'm that next generation after the baby boomers. Um, so I was not taught a lot of positive self-talk or personal right. development. You know, it was like, oh, how do you survive in life? That was what I was taught. So let's just yeah, briefly sure. kind of go through what you do as a job yeah. and then, you know, how you actually make a living doing that. Yeah, so I work as a coach and a mentor um, and doing, uh, so life, transformational life coaching. So, you know, I'll do with these workshops and I'll, I'm actually doing one tonight for on a webinar and these workshops are called the power of vision and so I basically help people break down and get clarity four quadrants of your life so where are you not feeling fulfilled in your life is in your health in your relationships in your career in your time and money freedom and we we gather that information and once we gather that information i'm able to help people see tangible steps to start moving forward now this part has nothing to really do with yoga Right. It's well. I consider yoga is um, a part of my life, not as a career anymore. Got it. Um, but as, I mean, yoga is. Yeah, mental well being, physical is a, well-being. Is a lifestyle. Yeah, you yeah. know. No, yeah. I get it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so so. I do that, and then and then RTT hypnotherapy, which is rapid transformational therapy, hypnotherapy. So people who are looking to get breakthroughs. So I was in therapy for a very long time, trying to unwind my stuff. It wasn't really working. I'm just telling the same story over and over again. And I had to actually stop therapy and start seeking outside sources on how to break through. Mm -hmm. And that's how I healed borderline personality disorder. It took me 14 years. I don't want people to suffer and to go through that. So I found ways to help them break through their stuff. So people come to me, whether it's for addiction, depression, you know, it could be something as simple as procrastination, smoking, um, and I help them break through in one to three sessions. That's awesome. Yeah. And really so important. where are you getting clients? Is it referrals? Is it yeah. uh, Insta? Uh, like where? It, it, it referrals it happens through Instagram, through Facebook. Um, you know, it just, I, I put myself out there and, um, and people just end up finding me. I've written articles. You know, so so people, however, people are searching for something and all of a sudden I pop up and then they find me. So now I'm working on expanding my reach and really wanting to work with companies and corporations um, in this work. And because I really feel like the if we really want to change the world, it's going to happen through transformational work. We have to start at the top through the influencers and allow that to vibrate out. But I did start um, start with getting my foot in the door with a $345 million company and basically asking them, well, what is it that you're lacking? What are your employees needing? And, you know, where do you feel like you guys could be doing better in your business? And why are you calling me? You know, I'm, I'm coming in. So, so they said, well, it's work-life balance. We have a startup, we're doing really great, but our guys are working 80 hours a week and they're not taking care of themselves. I'm like, great, well, that's what I do. I can help you get into alignment doing this. Cool. So going in and doing workshops and showing them, like doing my power of vision workshop is just a, just one way and I can break it down for them. You know, and these, and these kids are so, you know, getting to this next generation. I mean, this is why I think you grow rich is so important. And, yeah. you know, the movement. And I mean, I have cousins who are, you know, 19, 20, and they've, they, they've consistently since childhood come to me for advice because I'm, I'm like the, the auntie who's not gonna judge them on, you know what, I really don't want to work in the 
corporate world and do be an accountant like my parents. I want to be a makeup artist. I want to, you know, do something else that that I know will fulfill me. But they're scared. There's because their parents are like, well, no, this is how you have to do it. And I'm like, oh my god, that's not it, <laughs> right? Right, right, right. I'm like, become an entrepreneur. That's the way to go. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So thank you so oh, much, gosh, uh, Denise, for coming and uh, Dr. Bill. Over and out.